Good luck. All right, this indicates week, I think, 126 of the weekly ladder. Maybe it's 125. I've lost count, honestly. Um, regardless, it's good fun. Each week, uh, you get to play a higher rated and a lower rated opponent. And then after playing the game, you get to discuss it together and see what you learn from it. Um, expect that I might not say much during this game, because I have a strong opponent. Or maybe that's not why, but, yeah. But it is true, I have a strong opponent, and I need to think carefully about my moves. Somehow this feels enterprising. Maybe it's too much. Just double check I haven't messed up the overlay. Overlay looks fine, but it would look better if I were to put a proverb there. Hmm. I didn't realize this thing I've been saying in chess for many years is also a shogi proverb. It's comforting to know. Hmm. Uh, keep in mind that I play Swinging Rook openings, but because I'm playing Senta, you know, I think I could be persuaded into playing a Static Rook opening, given this sort of initiative. Um...
We're freestyling, yo. Hopefully that doesn't hurt. Hmm. Well... Guess we're gonna become one of the world's leading wrong diagonal wrong diagonal bishop theoreticians then. Um. Bishop silver bishop silver no no no. <laughs> I think this is playable. Any excuse I can find to put my bishop on a halfway reasonable square tends to be um, the excuse I use for doing this kind of stuff. Takes. Okay. What's the opponent threatening?
Hmm. Interesting. Why? Oh, my bishop's not on the correct diagonal. That's why this is not working. Or is it? I'm feeling more than a bit insecure about this situation, but if the king walks over here, surely I can move the silver and the pawn. Surely this attack connects as it should. But also I'm threatening like silver here and exchanging silvers, but then they redrop. Something isn't right. My attack should not be this successful. Or it looks like it's potentially going to succeed. No, they could push this up and then block in the square, or I don't know. Like, it looks like I don't have enough attacking pieces, but also somehow the attack just proceeds regardless, which is insane. I played here to avoid this bishop drop. But also to defend this in case some counter shot magically shows up this very turn. Hmm. <sighs> All of my opponent's pieces are loose. Silver, gold, pawn. No, actually, this gold holds everything together. Pawn first. No. Maybe. I don't think so. Hmm. Silver gold, pawn, pawn takes, silver takes, if silver takes, rook takes, I don't have another threat. If I had a second threat, it could go a long way here, but I just don't. Hmm. Pawn up, silver tanks.
これより両読みに入ります三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一、二、三、四、五、六、七。三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一、二、三。三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一、二、三、四。三十秒。This is this concept they keep calling initiative. 四十秒
50秒123456789三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一、二、三、四、五、六、七。三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一、二、三。Mm. Mm, this is not good. Pondra up here continues an attack. I don't see a way to stop it. If I take that, they move the rook. Other attempts to arrest this attack don't seem quite successful. Thirty seconds. Forty-five. 
30秒40秒50秒30秒40秒You'd think I'd have anticipated that. Thirty
40秒うん30秒。50秒1234567891秒。これより秒読みに入ります30秒。30秒。
30秒30秒。三十秒。四十秒。四十秒。一、二、三、四、五、六、七、八。三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一、二、三、四、五、六。三十秒。四十秒三十秒。四十秒。五十秒。一、二、三、四、五、六、七。
30秒40秒30秒40秒50秒1234530秒40秒50秒12345678Hmm, I should have moved this after Knight takes this is still attacked. Should have moved the gold. Thank you.
30秒40秒50秒30秒40秒50秒1234567秒30秒40秒50秒1234567秒30秒40秒50秒1234567秒30秒40秒30秒
40秒30秒。三十秒。40秒30秒。Oh. Oh. Wow. Wait. Obviously, my silver retreat was stupid, but. Hmm. ん With two gold generals in hand, I guess that does mate. What? That 
That doesn't look right. Sanju Sanju 30秒 40秒 Thanks for the game. We'll play. Whew, that was an adventure. Um, yeah, no, many moves ago. Uh, I suspected this was very terrible for me. Um, I forget if I can zoom in once or twice before the interface breaks. Yeah, GG. So I guess we're going to zoom in just once this time. Because I think I've tried zooming in twice sometimes and the interface breaks. Um, 
So if and when they're ready, uh, yeah, we'll ask, is it fine for us to start from the top? I assume so. Um, this is the pr approach that Hidechi recommends, and I don't object to it. It seems quite reasonable. <sighs> yeah, all right. The only negotiation there is how long do we take until we start um, post-game analysis. Oh, dear. I know somewhere in that in the thick of everything there, there must have been at least one position that was at least equal. Like, yeah, I had this sense of dread, but this rook drop didn't do anything. This rook drop combined with the silver move, that combination didn't work. So probably I needed to move the bishop away and try something here. Um, it was quite an intense endgame. Um, hmm. Uh, I'm going to try zooming uh, in, but this might uh, this might force me to log out. We'll see. We'll try this one more zoom. Oh, good. Oh wait, never mind. Interface broke. Just kidding. Don't do that. If you're gonna zoom in in a browser, only zoom in once. We just broke the browser. We'll be back momentarily. Uh, link in. So sorry about that. Uh, yep, 81 Dojo works in some browsers. Um, but be very careful about using zoom in feature of a browser as the site really isn't designed to support every browser completely, but we're back. Um, all right, cool. Nice. So I can zoom in once. Uh, in Vivaldi, uh, I can only zoom in once in edge uh, twice so i suspect there's something with the flag animation that if you try to zoom in too many times just like everything breaks so you can get this animated flag but something about the page layout depends upon this flag being exactly the size it is I've never been able to get fully to the root cause of it, but just had to be very careful not to double tap the zoom and also not to hold control and scroll wheel because that causes the same thing. Also zooming out, same deal. So this web page works beautifully, but only if you set things up perfectly. And that's why I made a user style, in fact, that like... um. I'm trying to remember exactly all the things it does, but it tries to declutter this so it looks beautiful for a live stream. And to do that, we had to resize the rightmost column and a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and yeah, it would have been nice if the chat window could have popped out. I know in the lobby you could have pop out chat window, but here you don't. It's tied to the game board as is the viewer list. Um, so we will follow the latest position and wait for the opponent to return and begin analysis. But yeah, I was suggesting that probably this bishop here was the cause of my downfall. For those who don't see it, the, goal, the king retreats and silver drop is checkmate. Whereas if this were a silver instead of a gold, if they had two silvers instead of silver and gold in hand, then I could have escaped up the board, and that would have been a different story. But that's not what happened here. Um, so, all right, cool. Uh,
Cool. Thank you. So I'm the host, so I can direct analysis. So subsequent to every teaching letter, we get to review uh, the game with our opponent. Or after each game, this is why this is considered a teaching sort of experience. Um, uh, however, um, So, yeah, um, I see that you're not castling this way, so I'm preparing an attack. Uh, cool. So that's why I play that. Um, but yeah, I do strongly prefer swinging rook openings, but... I wasn't going to castle right into this. Or rather, you know, there's just something about this I haven't studied well enough. Um, they haven't provided me an easy target, so... I like this tension on the diagonal being resolved before I commit one way or the other. Yeah. Yeah, they tried to bait out more aggressiveness. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Try to get him to commit to some kind of an attack. Um, uh, so I don't really know where he's attacking. <laughs> Oops. Uh, if he wants, I could give him the hat and he could show stuff. So... Oh, his knight takes a thing? That would surprise me. No. Okay, we're looking at this. I think gold takes is pretty normal, but what do I know? Not much. Um, hmm, this looks complicated. But since they haven't really committed to an attacking shape, you know, I thought it was important to keep my options open. So I'm not sure, in the event that bishops do exchange, and they did here, um, just trying to predict everywhere a bishop could go usefully and meaningfully seemed challenging. Um, I mean, pretty clear at this, you want to go for static or can only the gold there, defending... Uh, this can only hurt the castle structure. Ah. Okay, so I guess that's to say that what I did on the other side of the board, on the right side, um, was a loss of time. So, yeah. So if I really wanted to play this sort of thing, I probably should have closed the diagonal. Yeah, maybe I should. I've always closed the diagonal, always felt that I was chickening out. And so then this one time I don't do it. Um, and here we are. Although I thought I got a playable position. I thought I had my opponent in a very tough bind for many moves. Which quite surprised me. I didn't expect to have what to me looked like such a good position. Um, but let's see what they think.
Hmm. I had not even considered that um, closing the diagonal means I could attack on either wing. That I'd not consider deeply. Um, yeah, this pawn move tends to indicate third file rook attacks. I've been quite delinquent in my opening study. Um, going left silver first would it prevent a wrong diagonal bishop. Oh, okay. Yeah, if I'd move the left silver, then that would disincline the opponent to do this exchange. Whereas, yeah, now I mixed my ideas here. If I'd played silver 8-8, eight, eight, then the opponent would be discouraged from exchanging bishops. But, um, yeah, bishop exchange and pawn 7-5 tend not to go together. Um, so I just basically lost a move in addition to pawn 1, 6. So I give them a two-move handicap, although I was the first player. So it's just a one-move handicap. But yeah, I'm giving my opponent a handicap when I play this way. Uh, because I haven't studied my openings properly. And if I've studied them and I know them deeply, that's a different matter. But yeah. Hmm. I thought it somewhat challenged their ability to attack, but maybe not. Maybe it just accelerates things. Yeah, okay, back to me then. So yeah, they're right that um, I've given a time advantage for sure to them. That said, I mean, this kind of worked out. Hmm. So, yeah, I debated this with this idea. Um, like the square. So I don't think I have time for this sort of an attack right here. Hmm. So that's why I played the silver out. Hmm. Probably should just like do this sort of thing. I don't know. Yeah, how does this work? Now that my bishop's actually participating. This looked really interesting. Yeah, so we push the pawn. Let me take. That seems reasonable. I didn't think things would quite come to this, but... This looks most impressive, but um, maybe I'm just crazy. To me, this looked really impressive.
I didn't think this was necessary. Oh, well, I mean, I guess that's possible. Um, not sure we agree on this. <laughs> I think there's a lot going on here, no? But I didn't think they would defend this way. This is one way things could proceed, but I thought they might defend a little differently. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Do I not have a winning move here? Maybe not. Um, Feels like there should be a lot of things that are possible here. Like, I could do this, right? Not sure this is the way to go. Because this is going to force the king to separate from the gold. And even though I don't have the rook, this looks like a pretty fun attack. Um... Yeah, I mean, this um, looks really, really strong, but I think some other defense was possible. Yeah. So, like, uh, oh. Are we still looking at this line? Yeah. Yeah, and this line the horse promotes, but what was it? Um, so this happens, but uh, wait, what were we looking at? Silver takes? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oops, sorry. I can you give him the hat so he can show stuff? Yeah. Um, right, so this happens. Yeah, this sort of thing. Yeah, don't, like, immediately tuck the king into this attack. Um, this seems much saner. Yeah. It's stuff like that that I couldn't find a way to like break through. So I didn't Oh, well 
Huh. Not sure about silver two two. <laughs> Not sure about that one, but yeah. Not sure why you'd spend a turn. Um... But yeah. Things like this might be possible. But I'm not sure why you would... Um... This... Yeah, it seems very risky to do this retreat. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this looks safer. Right, and I just, like, despite having a presence, I don't think I have an attack. Okay, I, I guess, yeah, I guess so. Not totally sure. It's all super sharp, isn't it? It's very precise. Like, I would take this side. <laughs> I'm crazy like that. I would take the dangerous side of it. Um... I guess. Hmm. Hmm. So, like, clearly, I control this issue point, right? Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so that's the point. It's intentionally putting my dragon in a square where it can be easily attacked, but it becomes a dragon. Um, but, yeah, no, that's... Yeah, you're right, you can contend with it here. Oh! Okay, yeah, four or five pawn. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think Alexi's got a point that, like, my bishop could be cut off from all of this forever ago. Um, oh, yeah, Alexi's correct as usual. But yeah, my opponent's point here is that, hey, look, they've managed to slow my attack now that I've already completed invading. But I don't have a continuation here. Yeah, move 22 can completely shut down my bishop. Um, or I guess pawn 3 4 is this point. Or something like that. 4 4 pawn threatens 4 5 silver. So I need to move the bishop. Yeah, that, that makes sense. This is before I created the hatch. For, or, yeah. That's really clever. So yeah, I would have to do something about my bishop at this point here. 
Um, yeah, the dual threat to trap it. So I guess I'd have to do like this. Um, but yeah, this does cut my bishop out of the 2 3 attack. Yeah. So that's another way to stop my attack, um, in case one way isn't enough. Yeah. Yeah, this is the sort of thing that left me confused. So the only reason my attack got to be so overwhelming is because this was missed. Um, and had that been spotted, then... Yeah, there would have been, um, it would have been a very double-edged, well, in my opponent's favor, double-edged game. Because I burned multiple Tempe to get here. Yeah. I see, yeah. We were both trying to play really flexibly, and in so doing, ended up, both of us played shapes that didn't make any sense and were difficult to reason about later. Um, which made for an entertaining game, but yeah, it wasn't super sound. I'm trying to think what else could be said about this. Um, Yeah, so it's this sort of detail that, which became pretty critical. Oh, okay. One of the ideal setups against the wrong diagonal bishop, I assume is what that means, I don't know, is to get the pawn to 4-5. Our parallel diagonal bishop is what Morinaka says about it. That's how he names the shape. Uh, yeah, pawn four or five seems difficult to prevent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but once I get this pawn in on two four, like... Okay, yeah, this during the game is what I was struggling to read out. Because this... Yeah, that was the move. Uh, well, I'm sorry, pawn two two, rather, is what I was looking at. Hmm. Um, somehow they want to move over the last variation, which is pretty cool. Um, don't know how it happened, but here this, hmm. Uh, let's see, they have a silver and a bishop in hand. Hmm. <laughs> they have a silver and a bishop in hand. Let's see what we can do. Can I do this, maybe? Like, this is really wild. Unless I'm missing something fundamental. A knight doesn't defend against this. Mm hmm. Hmm. What a tricky position. Um, oh. 
Oh, the pawn's too heavy? Yeah, maybe. Maybe the pawn's not the right idea. Um, yeah, slow, I think, is the word he's looking for. That could well be that this pawn's much too slow. Um, maybe this. It looks nuts, but uh, then the pawn drop seems to be a threat. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, regardless, um, well, yeah, we end up looking at a lot of variations here, and I'm totally cool with that if they have time for it. I have time for it. I don't know if they do, but um, my knee-jerk reaction in positions like this is I'm very winning. And allowing me to get a dragon on 2-3 uh, and then ignoring my attack seems extremely dangerous. Um, so... I think I'm winning here. Um, like, okay, Alexi says it's complicated. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I would back up a touch because we dove right into this line. Um, I think this, uh, this is the issue point you were talking about. Um, it seems easier to defend that <laughs> than to just let things happen. Um, so I think that was what he was trying to point out, right? So, the idea would be to prevent you from... <laughs> uh, I see. So yeah, they're saying with very active play, they want to just prevent this in the first place. Yeah, with the pawn 4-5. Yeah. So, okay, this pole silver, climbing silver, whatever you call it, ends up... I didn't believe in it, but actually it's complicated. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I didn't expect it to be there, so I didn't play it. But, um, yeah, they... Pawn 4-5 would have shut out the nonsense at some point. Um, but anyway, uh, there was a possibility for this nonsense, but um, it's complicated. Yeah, uh, this is solid. This is stupid. I should just, like, play this. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. Other than I don't know this position very well, so... It's not a big surprise that I missed something so fundamental here. Um, so maybe not this. Maybe I should do this instead, taking that square. Um, please look at 86. Yeah. Yeah, cool. 86 uh, plus 6, 7, knight. Okay, we'll take a look when we get there. Oh, this middle game. 
such a mess. Um, so, so many variations to look at. Uh, I wondered about this. Mm -mm. But, yeah, maybe it's fine. I don't know. With, like, this we're coming over. It seemed really dangerous. Um, so I guess something like this, something like that. I don't know. Yeah, there's that too. Yeah, this looks really, really, really dangerous for me. Um, yeah. So, that's, I expected this to happen, but didn't, oh. Okay, yeah, that's an interesting point. I could take here. Um, hmm. Wow. Yeah, that actually seems like a decent response. And here, my position doesn't completely suck. Um, hmm. That's far different than my expectations. But yeah, this somehow against two bishops, I seem to be well defending. Uh, we're defending well here. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so this is why that pawn drop didn't quite work out. Cool. So yeah, we'll just go back to the main game variation. Or they take here. Yeah. So this makes sense in retrospect. Um this pawn drop was really heavy. But like my position sucks. Hmm. Mm. This, I was just not at all a fan of my position. Yeah. Mm, slight. I don't know. Like, everything just explodes here. This is a disaster. <laughs> this is good for you, man. Yeah. Like, if I try to build a castle, I just don't have time for this. Um, like, well, no, maybe, maybe that doesn't work the way I thought. Um, hmm. Wait, how does this work then? I thought that they would push the pawn, but now that I'm looking at it again, that doesn't seem right. Oh, right, this thing. Yeah, this. Um, so, I have to watch out for this. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The silver never moved all game. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Hmm. 
my attack is not working and my defense is not much better. So it's this looks extremely rough. I should just attack and hope that somehow I don't get checkmated. Because defense it is not going to work here. I tried to defend. It just was. It doesn't work. Um. Hmm. I wonder. I mean, I must have had many missed chances here. Like, I don't know. Something like this. Building the castle late. It's probably my best bet. I don't know why I didn't do that. I got impatient. Maybe that's why. Yeah, this is a slow, patient plan that just works. Or attempts to work. And, um, I mean, I guess they're threatening this. Uh, I don't know. I should have... Definitely should have tried something. Um, because... I get smashed later. I mean, here, this is reasonable. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The spawn drop completes the shape, and the variations I saw trying to open this up at this time were just no good. Uh, yeah, I had my chances earlier and lost them, and now things are just very firmly in the opponent's control. Where I have no attack. Yeah, I need to one, two, three, four. Like, four moves of free time would give me this. But it's, yeah, it's bad. so bad. So pawn 1-5, yes, yeah, much too early. Much, much too early. Even for Senta. If I did other stuff, I shouldn't have been doing too. Uh -huh. So... Oh, this? What's this suggestion about? This also stops the silver from advancing. Um... I don't understand it. I don't think you need the pawn, like... My position's just a disaster here. I'm still going to do this and this and that. Um, this is... My attack is going nowhere, regardless which one you do. Um, yeah, this pawn drop 3-4 was brilliant. Um, but yeah, possibly silver 3-4 might be playable. Um... Oh, is that the idea? Uh, hmm. Okay. My bishop protects my pawn. Okay, this is interesting. Um, 
Hmm. <laughs> I'm not so sure. I'm really not sold on this being a great defensive idea. Like... I mean, I guess there's some merit to it, but um, things are about to get wild here in a second. Things are about to get nuts. So... Yeah, at this point, I'm willing to sack a lot of stuff just to get any semblance of an attack. I think their pawn drop on 3-4 was much clearer than this is. Uh... But that's just my take on it. I mean, you might have a point, but um, yeah, I would prefer the thing that looks like a much, much solid, much more solid defense over this. Um, you might be able to pull this together, but uh, I don't know. Would not be my first choice. <laughs> uh, yeah, artistics. That's a word. Yep. <laughs> Picasso. I mean, when you got the pieces, you might as well use them. It doesn't seem like a bad way to use them. It's just there are ways that seem clearly better. Um, <laughs> yeah chasing my bishop I've made the same mistake too like I've played enough of the games of shogi to know that you can try to chase the opponent's bishop but really the king is the thing to aim for um That's it. I'm probably still getting dunked on here, but pawn drop 3-4 seemed a lot cleaner than this. Um, I don't know. This is going to be one of those variations that just goes on forever. Uh, whereas pawn 3-4 like, looked very clearly decisively in my opponent's favor, this uh, doesn't look so clear. But again, that's just my impression. Um... I'm still losing. It's just a question of um, if I lose with an attack or with no attack. Yeah, Alexi points this out, which makes sense. Oh, I see, and that connects with the knight. Okay.
Yeah. To say the least, you'd have some chances. Um... So, like, I don't know why you'd want this, but yeah, this might be available. Yeah. <laughs> Silver gets a chance to move after all. Yeah, I'm not sure why. Like, the game positions looked very clearly better uh, for my opponent. Um... Whereas I just am not understanding if there is some clarity here, I'm not seeing it. Um. Hmm. They have three pieces attacking this pawn. Yeah, legends tell of silver moves. So we've gone from a position, I don't know. Yeah, we've surrounded my bishop. My bishop is no longer pinning the knight. Hooray. Um, but we've lost everything. So that seems to be the counterpoint. Yeah, so you got some chances if you do this sort of thing. Oh, never mind. We keep trying to draw a conclusion and keep looking deeper into variations that are gradually shifting in my favor. One tiny little hair at a time. Um, until finally I'm going to get a winning position out of this somehow. Um, hmm... Okay, so does that mean I have to no? Uh, I don't know, man. Hmm. Alexi says this is yeah, and at least in that position it's busted. Wouldn't surprise me if many positions here are busted. Um Ah. All right, so how how do I bust this thing? Is knight takes not correct then? Maybe I need to keep the 7/7 seven, seven square open for my silver. Yeah, I guess keeping the king next to the generals makes some degree of sense. Um, 
So here we're practicing shifting the issue point. Um, maybe they could just take the silver, however. Hmm. Let's see, if you do that, this seems dangerous. Um, maybe this is not, maybe this sacks too much though. I'm bad at checkmates. I don't know why I'm suggesting variations here. Um, maybe this. Uh, looks hard for me to defend. But I'm not sure that I would... Well, where's my point of deviation here? Oh, knight takes. Uh, oh, but... Okay, never mind. I was going to try this, but this is still no good. Yeah, I'm still busted here. Well, this looks like a total hot mess. Um, but we can also block their bishop. It's, I mean, this is still crazy. My chances are still minimal here, but... Uh, oh. <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh... All right. Shoot. <laughs> Best food. Gosh darn it. Uh... That would have been so nice if that were legal. All right, so probably dodge here directly. This, I mean, this is complete domination. There's nothing that I could do to stop it. Um, so originally I was sour to this idea, but I guess I've warmed up to it. I've gotten checkmated so many times that I'm risk adverse in this analysis, but, um, or rather just in general in Shogi, I tend to get checkmated a lot, so that's why I'm trying to avoid risky variations for the opponent who clearly was better, but when you have a clearly better position, you still have the duty to try to win it. So, um, it's not like I'm just going to concede here. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should, but it's just not how the game's played. I guess we're practicing checkmate patterns and realizing that I don't know any of them. <laughs> yeah. That'll... Well, I'm not sure if this one actually works. Despite them having tons of pieces... Oh, I guess that does surround my king, doesn't it? Hmm. Yeah, and if I try this, um, 
then they still have this move, right? Or I don't know. Feels like something like that should work. I guess maybe this. Yeah, there's too many wins. Well, yeah, if I do pawn takes, this is mate and wood one. So there's the possibility I might not fall for mate and one. But maybe this still mates. I'm not sure how. Uh but yeah, we can try to run. Oh, I guess maybe something like this. Hmm. Yeah, that mates. That's kind of cool. I guess this uh, it happens on move 100 also. So, that's cool. I guess we found the mate. That's what we were looking for. Lincoln is typing. I mean, that looks like checkmate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, as the board, as the space around the king reduces, we don't end up having to look at the entire board to solve the position. So, yeah. Uh, we went deep down a rabbit hole. Eventually found a way for the opponent to win. That involved some risk in several takebacks. Um, yeah. <laughs> and mate in 51 with some take backs what happened there um so at this point i'm driving so we don't end up in another ditch sorry um so Alexi had suggested we take a look at move 86, I think it was. Um, yeah, I guess we'll get there. Um, get there. Yeah, a lot of sharp things happened here. Um, 86 rook takes. Oh, okay, he was saying promoted knight takes on 6-7. I didn't expect rook takes. Um, that said, uh, this is really complicated. I mean, neither of these two are my candidate move here. I was thinking you just take the silver, right? Like, am I crazy? What about this move? But maybe I'm just blind. Maybe there's some greater knowledge, awareness, or something else. But this, to me, looked absolutely crushing, despite the rook hanging. Um, so, like, let's say I take here, and that's checkmate. Um, seems worse for you. Uh because the bishop's in a better spot after taking the gold. Um, hmm. 
All right, so Alexi's suggesting let's go with this. Um, all right, so how do I look at this? I guess point one is I don't want the rook. So then there's this. Okay. So I take back. Bishop takes. Oh, do I not? Okay. Hmm. Those are knights throw away, so I guess this. It's not where I envisioned putting a knight, but it's legal. Um, since I got the promoted knight, I can drop that to defend the bishop. Um, but yeah, I think with defending my king being my top priority here, I should have some ch oh. What? Yeah, silver takes. We promote the dragon. Okay. Uh, this pins my silver. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Mm -mm. Wow. Yeah, so this seems to render moot my defenses. Uh, hmm. That's such a good move. Oh, I see. Yeah, the opponent has enough generals to checkmate me here. And I don't have a gold. Yeah. So that works. So... Hmm. Yeah, I guess other lines aren't any better. So silver takes runs into that. Um, yeah, okay. So the snipe drop is no good. Yeah, so I just end up giving away the bishop. There's hope is lost here. Yeah. So that's definitely strong enough. Yep. The rook's also on the chopping floor. A chopping block. Whatever. So that would have been by far stronger. At least if my bishop takes. But like, Alexei's read out all these variations. Not just bishop takes. Um... So we know that all these things just work. Uh, we know it because uh, he's really good at reading. He's really careful about it. Um. I try to play unpredictable things when you get in these variations, because both he and a, just your typical opponent would not see the unpredictable things. Uh, so in my mind, those seem to have a greater chance of working than anything else. Oh! Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Uh, wow. That is 
pretty nice. Um, hmm. Dang. So we have to try something like this here. Otherwise, gold drop 9-5 would mate on the move. Yeah, I guess this is still winning. Mm. Yeah, hope is still lost. Yeah. That's impressive. So, yeah. Um, that pawn drop is pretty epic. Consequently, I cannot take this gold this way, and I cannot take it this way. Because my castle is just trash. Uh, yeah. <sighs> yeah. You don't want the king escaping. But once you know you have consecutive checks and the king doesn't escape, then you're set. So, like, yeah, if I take this... Yeah. I don't know. Who can say? Who can say? Yeah. <laughs> right, we're studying. Well, just kidding. We're not studying that anymore. But yeah, Rook takes um, was the game move that got played. Um, but I think Alexi has a good point that the promoted knight takes seems at least as strong. And it doesn't cost you a rook. And giving... Okay, yeah. I don't know why we're doing this as a variation, because this was the game move. We can take a look at it. Um, yeah, saving the rook um, saves a move. It's Knight takes his one move faster. Um... I'm not going to justify the statement, but yeah. Yeah. So in the game, this was the game move I took here. Mm -hmm. Ah. This, I could not figure out. Somehow, um, ah, the memes, the memes. But no, this is seriously extremely complicated. And it would be very difficult for me to get it right. Um, so, um, yeah, I mean, I could consider this. It's not that, I mean, this, you're probably still winning here somehow. Just given how much the Shogi gods seem to hate me in this analysis. As they have a right to, because, like, this is not my soundest game ever. Uh, 92.88 gold. I had to play, yeah, 68 night takes. Or 68 night takes. Okay. Wait. Okay. Yeah, during the game I was trying to look at this.
during the game, I like was ready to resign at this point if they played that move. Not that I would have. We would have still played it out, but this is a very direct mate. So that's variation A, and variation B is the... Well, okay, yes. Arguably. Uh, and then variation C is the king is drawn out and then checkmated the same way as in the game. It's really linear. <laughs> yeah, they have all the pieces to do this. It's not that deep. Yeah. I saw this during the game and I was stunned this didn't happen. Um, yeah. So, I mean, it's like mate in 9 or mate in 11 or something, but it's a really straightforward line of just drop all the pieces and I can't block it anywhere. Yeah. Uh, very direct. In terms of mate in 17, it doesn't get any easier than that. You're never going to see an easier mate. 17 in one of your games than that, but um, yeah, this gold 8-8 eight, eight is just very it's very direct. Okay, we'll give the hat, gosh darn it. We'll never finish this analysis. Plus we end up ignoring like half of uh, Alexi's comments, but we'll get there. We're getting there. I'm trying to pay attention. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> I'm, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's not even a price in, in store here. Yeah, see, if this weren't, like, live and on stream or something like that, we would just sit back, refill uh, the beverage, let the opponent deal out as many moves as they want, and not worry about being entertaining. But here I am trying to, like, entertain an audience as well. Yeah, so this mate's two. Yep. Mate and eleven. Right there. Lots of variation. Well, I guess there are three variations if you count king nine eight, which gets mated immediately. And if you count king seven nine, which also gets mated immediately. Yeah, then there are three variations to look at. Uh... <laughs> uh... Yeah. On Shogi Wars, I'm like, wait, I had two golds? I had three silvers? I had what now? On this website, there's no excuse. You got all the pieces right there on the piece stand. The excuse is that, oh, it's late at night. And it is. It really is. But you wouldn't be able to tell from this analysis. Um, but yeah, this is the way the game concludes. This rook drop, I was thinking rook 6-2. Or if I do this rook drop the way I did it then like my only chance to try to save the game is to try to stave off this mate somehow and like you know hit the gold try to defend this it still looks completely lost like i don't think i have any realistic chance of saving this but it has to be tried i think yeah um uh Yeah, I think I'm still lost whether I pick this one or I pick that one. I think I, I lose in both cases. Um, but maybe I can confuse my opponent somehow. Um, uh, this surprised me, but... Yeah, since you didn't see your mate, it, it makes sense to defend if you don't see the mate. Um, 
But in this case, maybe I should have dropped on 6-2 instead, in case I'd suspected that you do this. Uh, yeah. Uh, I wonder though, let's suppose instead I tried this. Maybe if I had tried this, um, maybe there's something here. Doubtful, but maybe. Um... Yeah, maybe the gold drop here just loses. It's possible. But in the game where I dropped the rook in 8-2, maybe it's a fine. I didn't see anything. Um, also here I didn't see anything, but I suspect post-game that they needed all those pieces. Because in the game variation, they only made it by a single piece, right? Like, yeah, so we have to do king takes. Oh, shoot. Wait, this variation's still here? Even without a gold? I thought the other variation was exact by one move. Well, they, in the other variation, they started it with gold 8-8. Eight, eight. Here, they didn't start with gold 8-8, eight, eight, so I see. <laughs> yeah, so gold 8-8 eight, eight forces this variation. Otherwise, yeah, gold 3-2. Um, nice. Yeah. Well, damn. All right, so, okay, I guess this justifies... Um, yeah, during the game I thought it needed the rook on the 8th file, and oh, never mind. Guess we're still looking at that, because I missed something. Oh yeah, I forgot to suggest this, um, but they just take the dragon, right? Oh, but then maybe I take here. Ah, this could have some possibility. This is the uh, corollary puzzle. Yeah. So, uh, the duel, the duality, duel, something puzzle. This is the alternation. Um, so, yeah, I think they would have had to play something like this instead. Uh, which still seems very good for them. So, uh, yeah, the dragon sack looks cool, but doesn't seem quite good enough to save the game. And, yeah, I just had a ma major blind spot Massive brain fart, however you want to say it. Um, during the game, uh, obviously I missed it. Um, so, like, this might have been a better saving try. Um, maybe this could have done something. I'm not sure, as always. So, yeah, this might have been what I needed to do. Uh, wait, gold 8-8 eight eight still? How does this, how could this possibly work? How? We need to know. This takes... Okay, and yeah, my my rook's cut off by the gold. Okay, so 
I guess what this means is that even though I missed this, I didn't end up throwing the game for having missed it. It was just a case of chain, uh, exchanging one mate for another. Yeah. So I was right to be fatalist about this. <laughs> I'm like, well, okay, fine. So I decided to launch an attack, and that didn't do anything. Um, at least I think I'm right to be fatalist about this. Maybe there's still some other hidden truth here. But yeah, I think silver takes h7 was the best defensive try. Um, the only other thing we haven't looked at was this craziness, but... Oh, that? Seriously, wow. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Not dropping a gold. Yeah, this just blocking with a gold instead of dropping one. This block makes a lot of sense here. And... Yeah, I'm just screwed. The only thing to fear is fear itself. Um, there's no saving this. I mean, maybe I have this, but I don't think so. Um, yeah. So, like, this is a threat. This is also a threat. Um, oh, right, this thing. Um, then we defend again. But I'm pretty sure they mate first somehow. Take that. Oh, is that the same damn thing? You still have a gold. Um, you always have a gold in hand. That does help quite a bit with defense. Or with this attack, rather. Yeah. In fact, they have two gold generals in hand. Um, so as long as I can count, and in one case they still have enough pawns too, so like gold, pawn, general, general, mates. Um, right? Or am I just being dumb? Wait a second. Wait a second. What am I missing? Oh, right. They don't have to drop the pawn over here. They drop this over here. Duh. Okay. Yeah, that explains it. Um, oops. Sorry. Yeah, even this. This is good enough, too. Lots and lots of direct mates. Um... I did mention I'm bad at checkmates, right? <laughs> let it let the record show that I missed many attacking ideas both for myself and for my opponent. So yeah. hmm. So there's just absolutely nothing I can do to try to stave off the mate. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, the best I did, or the moves I played, were as good as anything else, but also seemed, practically speaking, to put up the best resistance. Arguably, maybe Rook 6 2 might have worked. Probably not. All this is pretty linear, but. Um, but yeah, this all works. Um, they have just exactly the right pieces. <laughs> That's impressive. Um, cool beans. 
<laughs> so, yeah. So, while this is one time zone in America, it's a different one in Germany, but it is the weekend. These games are fun. <laughs> Uh, what else can we say about it? I don't know. Um, so we'll see what their comment is, and then try to make some general comments of my own, I suppose. All right, cool. So, yeah, I guess to sum it up, um, yeah, in the opening, I got my ideas crossed. I ended up playing like two or three different opening ideas. In the middle game, I had some attacking chances and it was complicated um, if I had played the pole silver attack. And then, you know, had I finished... Um, had I tried other endgame moves, none of those seemed to work in the very late endgame here. So the opponent's Rook Sacrifice is actually sound, much to my surprise. Um, overall, this means, one, I could study openings better, and we always can. And with chess, that's been a point of both embarrassment and exhaustion. Uh, but two, practicing endgames and checkmates would help alert me to ideas earlier on, give me some awareness of what might work and what might not. Yeah, we lost a lot of time in the opening, and then later on could never catch up and build the castle because the time had been lost. And if I had to guess what the critical position would be, critical position would be... Oh, I can't scroll through the move list. We just need to zip through it um so yeah there are a lot of positions where i could have done things better um but yeah, i think the critical positions well before this um uh, where might it be so yeah this gold move is ridiculous and I should be just bringing the king to safety and the silver up. And if I can do these three moves, I don't know if now is the time for them, or earlier was a better time. Um, but yeah, already here, like Alexi points out, I had given up tons of time in the opening. So I, if I just like play one, two, three, completely different game. And what had me so paranoid, in retrospect, is that I've had many games where the opponent brings their silver out to 9-5, and I just get checkmated, even despite building a solid castle. I just get smashed because it's the wrong castle, the wrong strategy, the wrong time, etc. Here, their silver and bishop are not able to easily join on this, so I should spend some time and build this. And not be so fatalistic about, well, I can't build that, I don't have time for it. That's maybe the case on Shogi Wars, and in Shogi Wars, opponents will frequently give you time later on. They don't always play the most incisive lines. In this kind of more serious ladder format, uh, expect opponents to give resistance, right? So, anyway, hopefully we will learn something from this endeavor. It's been fun. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.